And now it's time for Money Matters. We're talking with Matt Dickens, CEO and founder of Strategic Wealth Designers. He's here to talk about bonds and how they correlate with interest rates. So, Matt, interest rates have been rising steadily over the last two years. Mm -hmm. How does that affect bonds or bond funds? Well, both bonds and, more importantly, like you just mentioned, bond funds are very interest rate sensitive. So what happens is as interest rates go higher, bond yields go lower, and that drives the value of the bond or the bond fund down. So the reason why we wanted to talk about this is a lot of individuals, as they get closer in into retirement, they're trying to take less risk, and a lot of times they'll have a pretty large percentage of the portfolio in bonds. And sometimes that's very safe, but in this current environment, that's not necessarily something that we would really recommend because we believe interest rates will continue to go higher. We'll continue to see bonds and bond funds really struggle. Okay, as you're talking about that, is it is the government saying that interest rates are going to increase again this mm -hmm. year. At what point do you see bonds faring better? Well, interest rates historically have averaged around 5.5%. You know, right now, depending on the day, we're still somewhere only around 2.8%. So just to get back to the historical norm may take another year or two or maybe even three years, depending on how quickly they continue to raise them. So it's not really going to be a point in time where we would recommend using bonds until interest rates are, are kind of high and the expectation is that they would start to go lower. So I think it'll be several years that bonds are, and more importantly, bond funds are really going to struggle. So right now, if a viewer is holding bonds in their portfolio, what would you advise them to do and what alternatives are out there yeah, for them the, to consider? The good news is, is there are a lot of alternatives. Now, maybe having some short duration bonds are okay, meaning they're going to mature very soon. I wouldn't have any long duration bonds, however. And again, you really don't want to have any bond funds in your portfolio right now. You can use some alternatives like possibly uh, different types of real estate investment trusts certain types of annuities, maybe dividend paying stocks that aren't very volatile. There's a lot of different options depending on your time horizon. It's just as we continue to hold these bonds for basically every 1% increase in interest rates, a bond and a bond fund will lose on average about 8% in value. So it's a real big threat to individuals' retirement plans if they were hoping that this was going to help them keep their money secure. So very important for people, even if something has worked well in the past, to keep reevaluating what they're doing. Right. They definitely have a time and a place. It's just right now I don't think is the time. And if you're closer in retirement, I don't really think they have any place in your portfolio. All right. As always, great ideas. We do thank you thank for you. joining us. Learn more ways to make your money matter on WKYT.com. And if you have something you want us to discuss, send an email to news at WKYT.com. We'll talk about it here.